Speaker Diamonds, yes! Good! Okay! All of Oracles, sure! Impression Generator, oh! <laughs> Plants! Spellbinder! Sure, why not? <laughs> it doesn't have any lands in this deck. Don't need all these things. Oh, and stealing your opponent's deck. The most fun thing to do in Manic. And the most boring thing to play against. That's why we're playing it today. Because today we're playing another membership deck, everybody. Today we're playing Martin Newman's Xanathor Treasure deck or something. If you also want to become a member and have a chance to get your deck featured, you can check out the join button next to the subscribe button. Or why not check out my Patreon? It's a link down there in the description. So, Xanathar, new card from D&D, which you might not have seen, it's not that common, honestly. At the beginning of your upkeep, choose target opponent until end of turn, that player can't cast spells. You may look at the top card of their library anytime, you may play the top card of their library, and you may spend mana, spend mana as though it were mana of any color to cast spells this way. So what we want to do with this guy is just get him down, have a lot of treasure so we can play a lot of their spells. And uh, it's hilarious, because <laughs> we're playing with their deck. So, how are we gonna get enough manas to do that? Well, we have a lot of things which create manas, of course. We have Magda, which we've seen a couple of times. Kalein, which I actually haven't played with. This is another new card from D&D, which is really good. I'm just surprised I haven't included this in one of my decks yet. So, whenever it enters battlefield, you create a treasure token. And that's pretty much what we need it for in this deck. But it also has another ability, which is also really good. Other creatures you control enter the battlefield with an additional plus counter on it on them for each mana from a treasure spent to cost it. So what's so good about this compared to Magda is that Kalein, when you play it, you immediately get the treasure token. Magda you need to attack in with, which can sometimes be a little bit difficult. Often yet Magda just dies immediately. And it also has an upside on top of this. I guess Magda you can, you know, can search for dragons, but you know, Kalein is not that bad, you can get plus counters. The problem though with this deck, I can say that immediately, it's not gonna be that it's too weak, because it's really, really strong. The problem is that we just win so fast that we don't get to play too much of our opponent's deck. So we gotta make a worse version later on of this deck, which is just there to uh, be able to use Xanathar a little bit more. So we're gonna utilize things such as playing extra lands and stuff like that, so we can really play a lot of their cards. That is the deck, everybody. Jump into the game. Xanathar, Xanathar, he's the strongest Xanathar. Xanathar, Xanathar, Steve. Oh my god, this guy is fast. Oh, oh, we don't have red, awesome. Okay. Get me fun. We have a counter. Don't usually play that many counters. I very much make sense, though, if you have Xanathar. Does he really want to protect that dude? At all costs. Okay, we're telling. We're telling. This deck does have 27 lands. Um, so, probably we'll draw into another land? Maybe? It's like 50 50 every draw. So, come on! Yes! <laughs> yes! I think we play this. Reason being, uh, we kind of want those manas. It wasn't quick. I want it now, okay? Satyr's coming. This guy probably, oh my god, probably is going to uh, turn his Satyr into something stronger, is what I'm thinking. Do we not play Magda Brace and Outlaw? Or does he have another shock? I don't think he has another shock. I don't think so. Probably. Probably doesn't have it. Yeah, he very well might be, oh, what it's called, Transmogrify. Might be a Transmogrify deck. We'll see here. Four mana, Transmogrify. No blocks. Smacks in. Oh, that's something. Infuriate, okay. Okay, that's one Angry Sator. <laughs> sure. Smack in with Magda. Smack in. Bedank. Mm, let's see here. You discard a card. Okay, sure. Do that. You discard the Hoarding Ogre. I'm not sold completely on the Ogre. <laughs> to be perfectly fair. I mean, he's it's, it's cool. He's cool. Uh, the problem is, I think, in most cases, he is going to die before he attacks. Might be Let's see. Sadie's coming. Okay. There's two of them. Down to ten. But I'm feeling kind of good about this. We could go Xanathar now. Is there a reason not to? I don't think he can kill Xanathar. I mean, I would be surprised if he can. Be surprised if he can. 
Maybe just stay on the blocks. It seems to be up to some kind of buffing shenanigans, so... Okay, no, no attacks. Stay here, try not to die. Let's see what we can grab from Lil Angus. Lil Angus, we kinda need his land, so I don't Gonna need his land! Do we need to go up? I don't think... I'm gonna need more than 27 lands. Sometimes you need, like, 28. I run a lot of lands in my decks. Usually about 28. Or the equivalent, but they like, with like birth of my left. Like 24 plus birth, usually. Uh, okay. But 27 should be completely fine. He had it. <laughs> Frag! Ah, no blocks. Oh, god darn. God darn the gadurns. God guard. Frag. Okay, ah, oh, well. Unexpected win. Sure. I'm not gonna kill uh, these dudes, I don't think. And uh, sure, smack it with Magda, I guess. Badoosh. Badish. And yeah, I mean, now we have a uh, gold span dragon. He might actually just win the game. The gold span dragon is good. Okay, Satyr's cunning. More Satyrs. I don't feel like heartless acting these Satyrs, should I? <laughs> Maybe I should. I feel like we could, with the mana that we got now, we could double gold span dragon. And that's probably enough. I mean, he needs like two more turns to kill us. Come on, right? Or does he have another buff spell? Let's see. Not fine. Okay, uh, so. I can just go. We can go for it. Double dragon. Double dragoon. Found this. Smacking with Latim. These guys can't block us. Awesome. Let's keep up Sword. Keep up Sword coming. He could draw that land which buffs these creatures. He probably has it in his deck, but... Eh. Eh. I think he has it. I don't think he has it. Okay, it's down to six. And the third. We might... Hmm. After this, here's what I think we're gonna do. We're gonna... Need to find a way of... Oh no, we saw it coming! <laughs> saw it coming! Saw it coming all this time, buddy! All this time we saw it coming! Okay. Uh, I think we're gonna... We need some way of finding Sanator, and we need some way of protecting Sanator. Else I think this is going to repeat, like, the thing where he kills it. Like, usually against Red Decks, they don't have this, so it's... Oh, okay. Oh, oh my lord. Oh my lord. Oh my lord! Ah, uh, Sure. Do I have another bolt? No, it doesn't! Okay, we got him. Oh! Oh, Problem with Goldspan Dragon is also. We win too fast with him. Like, look at last game. Just randomly play Goldspan Dragon and didn't have a removal spell. Just one. <sighs> I want to play the entire deck with Xander. Could we do that though? Hmm. Hmm. What do we need to be able to do that? So we need some way of playing all their lands, surely. We need, depending on what they have in their deck though, it can be really difficult. Like, if all their cards are super expensive to play, uh, not gonna be able to do that much. Uh, let's see, reveal an island, no, 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 it's fine. What if we play with the guy which creates tokens? The guy which creates tokens for every basic, and then we turn everything into... The thing which uh, allows you to play two additional lands. There's a legendary which does that. Because that card removes... It becomes a copy of that, except they're not legendary. And then we also need to have Xanathar now. At the same time, but then we could probably play the entire deck. Because then if we have... Let, let's say we have like six lands. So we get six tokens. So we can play 12 of the... Oh, we can't play the entire deck though. If we had like 12 lands, we could probably do it, because then we can play 24 lands from the deck. And that's probably all the lands that they have in the deck. And then if everything is cheap in their deck, we might just be able to play the entire deck. Should we put that deck together? Should I try to squeeze this in into this episode? I think the likelihood of us getting that off is, uh, is low. Very low. But if it would happen, oh my god, would it be glorious? It's so freaking glorious. 
Ah, oh, man, it would be glorious. In every possible way, it would be glorious. Ah, oh, well. Dang drak. Drak. Oh my god, Colossal Plow. Love this god. There's so many ways of reanimating this now. It's not that many. I'm thinking. There's actually a cool thing you can do with this. After. <laughs> <laughs> After sneezer. What you can do with Colossal Plow? I think, and try this, but I think you can mutate Colossal Plow. And you get so much mana from attacking in with Colossal Plow, that you should be able to mutate it into a really, really big creature. And then it always stays the Colossal Plow. Or you mutate it with something cheap, like a uh, Bull, Bull Piquette or whatever it's basis. Because that could be kind of cool also. And that's good. Maybe? Maybe? I wonder what happens if you put it under them. Does it still remain? Because then... I don't know what happens. Like, mutate is a little bit complicated and crew... That crew is not that complicated at all. I don't know if, if it has crew... And it is a vehicle. Like, if I mute it over... Will that remove... But the vehicle is still there, the subtype, and I don't think crew is removed by mutating over. Ah, mutate. Most complicated thing in the universe. Most complicated thing. XX final boss XX. He might be clearing us up here or something. Board wipe. Oh, Bruno. No, Bruno. <laughs> Battle hammer. Okay, each can get plus two plus zero for each equipment, and you may pay zero. Means you can't equip the shadow spear here. Well, zero. Sure, got dude! <laughs> XX Final Boss, of course you equip the Shadow Spirit! Okay, good. Good, I was a little bit afraid there. You wouldn't equip that. That's kind of nice, though. Kind of a nice pack. Uh, I mean, we do have this. So... You know. You know. You're in trouble. You're in trouble now. Unless you have something. You can do with this, I don't think so. Oh, it cruise that! That's kind of cool, though. I did not think about the fact that they could crew as to have a blocker there. That's kind of cool. Uh, oh, we have two Magnus. Right? Smack it with Magna. Play another Magna. Just for the treasures. I think that's going to be the play. Smack it with this. It doesn't have lifelink. It just, uh, whenever it attacks, you gain two life and get three mana. So, yeah, we'll lose this. That's fine. Not a problem, we have another Magna. And now two things have died, so this is gonna trigger two times. Gonna get two treasures from that, which means that... Next time when we attack in with the Magna... Um, we're gonna be able to search for a dragon, and we're gonna be able to play... No, we're not having that. And almost a good setup there. Almost. Okay. Forging the Tyrite Sword. It's a really cool thing he's doing here. I wonder if you can do something with Brenor. I mean, surely you can do something in historic with Brenor, because then you can just attach the plus 10 plus 10 hammer, which is kind of cool, and then just give him trample with Shadow Spur or something. But can you do something in standard with this, where this is like really, really good? Really good. I guess this, this is like the new plate mail thing. That could be good, maybe. That could be kind of good, I think. Uh, let's see, we play Goldspan Dragoon and Goldspan Dragoon. <laughs> Just with the Goldspan Dragoon as always! Frack! Frack! <laughs> Why does this always happen? Frack! Sure. Goldspan Dragoon, Goldspan Dragoon. <sighs> it's probably Goldspan Dragoon. I think, here's what we're gonna do. After this game, we're gonna create, try to create a deck where we can play every card they have with Xamathor. We'll try to do that. I can't promise we will ever win a game with that deck, but the problem is this deck is too good. <laughs> it's too freaking good. It's too good. We're gonna lose now. He's gonna have a board but we're gonna lose. Just because I said it was too good. Okay. Uh, but it is too good. This wins. God Band Dragon, too strong. Too strong cards. <laughs> we, need, we need weaker cards. We need to degrade the deck so that we can win in a more glorious fashion. That's what we need to do. 
XX final boss XX. Are you gonna fall to the Godsman Dragons? Or do you have the bird wife? Hold on. Cannot crew the Colossal Plan, unfortunately. Unfortunately. Uh, okay. Can I put on the Shadow Spear? Yeah. So if you don't attack on the ground, should be the winning here. Can we play our opponent's entire deck? We gotta find out. We gotta try another version here. Of course, we're playing Xanathar. And we're playing the entire combo, <laughs> which we made up here. We just gotta be Filaf to get a lot of tokens. Then we're gonna target Azusa, of course, with... Where is it? The Echoing Equations. We get a lot of Azusas, which means we can play all of their lands from the top of the library. And hopefully they have a lot of lands and not that high costing cards. Uh, because then we're in trouble. <laughs> because then we can't play the entire deck. Uh, and then we have Dryad of the Elysian Grove to double down if you don't have Azusa. Agonim's Awakening to turn, returns things from the graveyard. Seagate Restoration to draw cards that might be useful. Blood on the Snow to stay alive, banning the old gods. Pretty much to stay alive and ramp us a little bit. Let's try this out. We're gonna try our hardest to make this work. I don't know that it's gonna be amazing, but it might be. Might this be the best deck ever? We're gonna find out. If we get now, we need so many cards to get up the combo. But we're we gonna make it happen. We're gonna make it happen. Believe everybody, believe in the power of Christ and also in the power of his deck. It's gonna be so freaking good. 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 It's gonna be so freaking good. It's gonna be so freaking good. It's gonna be so good. A suicide without lands, you know, that feels. <laughs> without lands to play an extra land, it feels kind of bad. But it's fine. Now we will have an extra land to play with Azusa. That's really good. Luminarch Aspirin, though. Ooh. I mean, if we can get the blood of us now, we're gonna be in good shape, I feel like. Okay. The Aspirin, yes. Well, we counted there. Lop a leap. Smacks in, okay. Can we now do something cool? We can put down this. We can badank, badunk. And then. Actually, if we draw a land there, we're actually in good shape. Just blood on the snow. We'd be good. Okay. He learns. He learns his lesson. Okay. That thing also. Ow. Oh, dude. Uh, we might block with Azusa, because we can return to the blood on the snow anyways. So. Gamble on drawing a land. Right. Sure. Okay. Take three. Draw a land. Yes. Yes. We're somehow in this! <laughs> okay. <laughs> much thanks to the blood on this now. Not much thanks to the combo, I wouldn't say, but sure. Azusa, she's back. Doing the naughty business. Now we need a Sanator. <laughs> and then we need our dude which creates tokens plus this. And then we're good, I think. Oh, we, oh, we have everything! We have everything, okay. Sanator. Down there, smack him with this. Dunk. Okay, hopefully Xanathar lives. It's a possibility that he's gonna live. Possibility. Stay in, have they? You have a chance. <laughs> oh, now it really has a chance. Now we might win, actually. Okay, scoured by Hans. Uh, sure, play that. Plane, so play that. Oh, right, it's Valkyrie. That's perfect. You need a blocker anyway, so do that. Uh, let's see, we could play this and exile this Baneslayer Angel. We could just kill this Baneslayer with this, so. Let's just do this. Take away this. And. No! No! I think this is going to be the problem. Either we crush them and they concede. Because. Because, you know, why wouldn't they? Or we just get completely crashed. Uh, I'm, well, sometimes some really nice people stay in for the combo. It happens. Doesn't happen often. Sometimes they stay in. They're, they're just curious. I mean, same with me. Sometimes, if the combo is interesting enough, I stay in. If it's just, I don't know, like mill roads, 
Like, who, who's gonna stay in? <laughs> it's not that... It's not gonna get more exciting. They're gonna have counter spells. They're gonna counter everything you do. The end. Uh, that's gonna happen. You know what's gonna happen. But this guy, though... His name's like... Cannot read. Uh, but I, I know some of the cards, but I don't know how this entire word is read. It could be a name, also. Probably it's a name. Okay, well, to my nas. And nothing. We don't have much... Cons like, like, two drops. We don't have a single two drop. And a, or no single one drop. One drops, two drops. Meh! Meh! Like that crap. <laughs> one drop. <laughs> Two drops. <laughs> I need that this deck. No, 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 no. Gonna time out. Okay. Is he gonna hold up a removal spell or is he gonna play a spell? Oh, what's he gonna do? What's he gonna do? Uh, sure. I found this. That's done. You, you, but you really look like bad. Two drops. No, 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 no. Okay. Asusa. She's lost. But she is seeking, so she's gonna come down. She's just gonna go boom, boom, and pass turn. It's just good to have a Susa in the blood on the snow. It's just it's a new meta. It feels like this is always like such a good play. Play a Susa, play blood on, blood on the snow. Bam, done, you're done. You're in heaven, you're in heaven, and Seven Eleven. You're at Angel of Vitality. Mad as everyone played the life game deck. Is it really that popular? Really though. It really it seems to be like the thing which everyone plays. Everyone just loves the life game deck. It's so good. Okay. Paladin class. I'm gonna have a third lander. Or fourth lander, I mean. Give me that plus one. To be crucial, I say. Crucial. Then you can actually go for double strike next, and that's kinda good. Kinda good. I mean, this with a really good lifelink, like if there was like a hexproof lifelink, usually you don't see a hexproof lifelink. Very rarely. There's that 6 drop which does have hexproof. If you throw away a card and it has lifelink. Except for that. Rarely see it. Uh, okay, yeah. Take damage. I guess we search for a black here. A blake. A blake manage. I say, <laughs> yeah, and ooh, Xanathar. Can't play him, unfortunately. So don't have the colors because I went for black. Um, I don't think we want to kill his angel vitality. Let me play this guy because this leaves the possibility for Xanathar next time. We want to. Because uh, this gives every color, okay? Dalin Patrician doesn't have that much pressure yet. And probably next time he's just gonna level up the Paladin class. Or he kills Xanathar. Hopefully it doesn't kill Xanathar. Hopefully! But if he kills Xanathar, we can return him to Bloodless now. So, that's fine. Uh, I'll just play Xanathar. And no attack rulers. And please don't kill him! <laughs> please don't! Don't kill my Xanathar, please! Please! I beg of thee, don't kill the Xanathar, please, 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 please! Can we, can we like, get the powers of Jason Dennis here? <laughs> For him not to have a removal spell? You have no removal spell. You have no removal spell, and if you have it, you'd rather upgrade your Paladin class and get in for 5 damage here. It's more important to get 5 damage in. It's more important. Damage! Damage! Don't kill Xanathar! Damage! You have the advantage in the air. Just go for it! Just go for it! You have the advantage, my friend. Just go for it. Just upgrade the Paladin class. Just go for it. Xanathar is not good. It's not good. It's nothing to worry about. What could even go wrong? What could even go wrong, I say? Nothing. Nothing could go wrong. Just upgrade the Paladin class, go in, in the air, let Xanathar stay there on the ground. Let him stay there. I would actually prefer if Xanathar was 
like not as good in combat. Because he's kind of good at just beating up on down. That's five, six of them. Oh, we foretell something. That's good. Man, is he stuck on three lands? That's amazing. I'm gonna check out his deck. He might have too few lands. So he might not need all these. Thanks. Let's see. See what's on top there. Something has been foretold. Ooh, is he gonna pass with Santa down on the board though? Oh, it's Stinkly Dinkers for him. Doesn't like it. Doesn't like it one bit. Could get him for three damage here. It's not too much. Could also use this planes here, maybe to gain four life. Something. Make the angel vitality matter. Yes! Yes! Speaker of Heavens, yes! Good! Okay. All of Oracles, sure. Impassion Narrator. Oh! <laughs> planes! Spellbinder! Sure, why not? <laughs> he doesn't have any lands in his deck. Don't need all these things. Oh, Elspeth Congress, that, that needs to go. Wow. I could maybe disrupt our flow here. <laughs> Couple of turns. I don't want to. Actually, we don't want to go in. Honestly. <laughs> we kind of want to stay back. He can have the Cosmos Alexa, that's fine. It's not a land, so. We'll clear up these lands. <laughs> and then we just put. Man, this card is really good when someone lands on it. Think about this. How will he ever play it, anything? He can't. I mean, we're gonna play all his lands with these things. <laughs> He's always gonna get a non land card. He's never gonna draw a land. Ever. <laughs> oh, please just stay in. Stay in, sir. Stay in. This is hilarious. This is so freaking hilarious. Stay in. Stay in, buddy. Stay in, you can do it. You can win, just turn this. Turn this around now. You can never draw a land. Well, you can play Light of Promise. We gain life somehow now. Any way out of this. Oh, we had to poison the cow. Oh, frack. oh frackers. Play another Xanathar, I guess. Okay. Spellbinder. Bind the spells. Okay, we are gonna play this. That's for show. Gain a life point. No attacks. <laughs> we want. I mean, we want to go up big Xanathar. Come on, we waited so freaking long for this. Oh, we do a land, crack. Doesn't have. A, we see his entire hand now. He doesn't have a way of killing Xanathar. Oh, wait, giant killer. Forgot about that. It's fine. <laughs> it's fine. I thought about the fact that he had that. I just didn't want to, you know, think about it. Uh, okay, oh, that's fine. We'll destroy all creatures. Xanathar is more important than these freaking creatures for us. We want Xanathar. I forgot about the fact that we have that thing. <laughs> forgot it so much. Uh, actually, can this produce any color? I uh, can, but not now. Okay. Uh, sure, put it down there. And pass the turn. Now you can't kill Xanathar, right? Right, this costs way too much. Can tap it down, that doesn't matter. Play the Cosmos Elixir. But did you really though? Did you really draw another removal? No freaking way. No freaking way, Jose. No, 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 no. No, 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 no. No way. This cost seven, you can't play that. Play your Cosmos Elixir. Or your teleportation circle. That's fine. Completely fine. Not a problem. Okay. Noise? Oh, wow, wait, we can return everything from our graveyard. Don't need another example now. Fracture, let's see here. Do we have any graveyard? We can return these two. Well, we can just play them. That's easier, I guess. Uh, fracture the uh, Paladin class, sure. Elite Spellbinder. Uh, sure. Don't need to play any more lands, anyways. Uh, light. Promise. Exalted with monocolored permanent. That doesn't matter because that can't kill Xanathar, so it's fine. It's absolutely fine. I mean, it can, it can matter, I guess. Because I can kill some things for us with that. Uh, we'll do this then. Pay the three life. Play the orator. And uh, let's just stay still. Stay. Stay on this. We know what it's gonna draw. He doesn't have any removal. He can I mean he can play this van inverse. Fine. Can play that also, which doesn't matter too much. We're gonna get rid of that, so. Who cares? Who cares? 
Lighted problem. Take a lighted problem, though. Um, Spellbind is sure. I'd rather have a couple of extra points than that. Okay. Swamp. Ooh! Ooh! Okay, wait. If we play this, we also have five. We do have five. Okay, so first we need to play this. We need to get as many as possible. Okay, I mean, he doesn't have that many lands, so that's the problem. So, I want to go for this. Surely I want to go for this. Because <laughs> we can uh, really have so much stuff. Okay, but, but he doesn't have any lands, that's the problem. Plum the Forbidden. Uh, you may sacrifice one or more creatures. Sacrifice one. Sacrifice the Hallow Priest. Oh, name. It's boring. Got some cards. Okay, Resolute Rider. Uh, that's fine, you know, play this. That's counter on you, that's fine also. Main, it doesn't have that many lands! It's just expensive playing all his stuffs. Still no attacks, still no blocks. He has a really good plan there. Five, Resolute Raider. Cosmos Elixir, fine. Now! We worked so hard for this, now we're gonna get that Xanathar. Now we're gonna get it off! Xanathar? What was this? I mean, we're up end step. Sure. Do you have no land, sir? Rack? Rack? He really does have no lands. We don't want him to draw this, but we don't want to play it either. Uh, Rack? Can we get rid of this somehow? Why do you have this in your deck? Yeah, everything costs nothing for you. Why do you have this? <sighs> uh, we can actually play this next turn, so it doesn't matter too, too much. Or do we just play this now? <sighs> to get rid of it? I think we play this now. He's gonna play that. <laughs> it's horrible for us, I know. But you know, what are we, what are we gonna do? He really has no lands, this guy. He really does have absolutely no lands. Sure. Okay. <laughs> Frackers. Ah, what do we play against a guy without lands? No wonder he got lands on for the first four turns. He has absolutely no lands in his deck. Okay. Ah, it's a 24, 24. It's pretty big. Pretty big. Come on now. Can we go for Xanathar? Oh, that's bad, right? That's kind of nice. Uh, I mean, sure. This guy really has no lands. <laughs> Absolutely no lands. Okay. Are you kidding me, sir? Uh, I mean, sure. Put this down. Smack in. And, uh, yeah. Yeah, end the turn, I guess. Now the 16. Frack, now I can hardly act the Xanathar. I forgot about that. I should have killed my own creature. Should have killed my own creature. We can return it with Agadim's Awakening, though. Can do that. Okay. Or he kills his own Guardian. Oh, well, that's fine. No problem. Four manas. I soon played the <laughs> Spell Conqueror's up. He did draw land there. That's kind of amazing, though. Perfect. He's killing his own creatures. That's amazing. Okay. The 20, come on now! Come on now! The There's your first Lancer! Exile a monocolor permanent. Is this a monocolor? No. Rack, okay, sure. <laughs> Take this away. Only removal, no lands. Okay, planes. Kill your number two, sure. Sure. Play this. Environmental Sciences, sure. We use that. Pick up this. Planes. Oh, now we can't play planes. But look at this, sir. Echoing Equation. Oh, we don't have blue. Don't have blue. Because we need to return our dude to do that. Braggers. It's fine. What, what's it gonna do? We have five, six. We're gonna draw planes, though. We don't want to draw the planes, actually. Um, because then you can play the Elspeth and kill Orxanator. 
You have Exalt on the graveyard though, so you can return it. I did not think this would turn into such a pickle monster. <laughs> I did not think it would be impossible. Um, get these things off. Ah, whatever. We play this. Take away one of these, sure. And uh, yeah, and turn. And Zetanio He's kind of dead though. He needs to play something other than this. Because if he plays this, he just dies. Okay, we'll play this. Uh, oh, take that. Though. Perfect, actually. Don't need that. And. Now then! Sir. <laughs> Can... How do you play with so few lands? Target opponent discards two cards. And mills two cards. How about you? And loses two life. Demogorgon's clutches. Sir. Okay. Righteous Valkyrie. Sure. That's not what I wanted to do. Oop. Out And... Vanishing first, sir. Okay, play this. We need blue. Oh, we don't have any more all of oracles. Fracture. Sure. Lanes. Rolic Banner, I guess we named blue. And go off. But still, now. Why do I keep insisting on him maybe having lands? He doesn't have any lands. <laughs> Sir! Sir! How do you play without any lands? Oh well, I can. Number zero. Got him. Thank you everybody so much for watching. A special thank you of course to our latest members which are... <gasps> Not Autobahn, Esteban. <laughs> Eden Walker, <gasps> Ken K. It's a very hard, hard name. <laughs> Ken's got a hard name. And also welcome back to Yet Alone. Thank you everybody so much. And... Hello, Daniel! And you are? It's -a me, the YouTube algorithm! And. Well, what are you doing here? I'm just here to take those of views! No, the. Those are my views! Oh, I can explain to you, Senor. You see, you have subs 0%. And non subs, a hundred percent. That's why he can take all your views. <laughs> I guess it's time that you uh, check out a little, little thing down there.